Yes, and boom! We are back at Sunshine State RV. We are gonna take a look at uh, two 2022 Road Trek Agiles. That's what's behind me. These are the SS Agile from Road Trek. We've got the regular one right here and then a 4x4 one. These are the short Sprinter vans, the 144 Mercedes Sprinter vans. We're gonna take a look at the SS Agile right now at Sunshine State RV. Let's get all up in this. Check it out. There he goes, Nick Schmidt. My man, my man. What's up? Get on the mic because I know you eat jello. No introduction today? You didn't, you didn't do your little hand on the... Uh, oh, here you go. What's up? Come on. <laughs> no, the hand on the lens. You oh. always do the oh, same. Oh, I've already done that. Oh, I missed it. You missed the whole thing. Darn it. I love it when you do that. He's back. We haven't done anything since the Tampa My heart show. starts racing when I hear you do that. I get all excited oh, really? like something's about to happen. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know how to actually take that, but okay. Yeah. So listen, man. We haven't done a video since uh, the Tampa RV show. Where, how many weeks have we passed that? Like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I miss yeah, seeing you. Yeah, it's good seeing you too. So you got a nice new haircut today? Yes, check that out. Oh, you you don't I mean, see my mohawk. Oh, you you don't nice, see the full bloom of the mohawk, thing, do you? Look at this thing. Look at That's that, the yeah. real deal there. Yeah, I usually, I you know, I, I save this just for the special people. Get there we to go. Actually see the full hawk. There you go. So, um, you guys, you've been carrying Road Trek, I think, from the time I met you. So we have. So funny story, back in 2015, Road Trek was the first new RV that we ever carried 2014 ish 2015 mm -hmm. they're the first coming they approached us they said man uh nick you guys have such a great reputation on used rvs we would love for you to sell some new ones mm -hmm. and we're like well i didn't really know you know we did some research and we're like yeah let's try it so it just kind of exploded since then oh, so so this is what took sunshine state from, from the used all used oh, to cool. new and used okay. and then at that time we were like 10 percent new 90 percent used yeah and then it kind of slowed you switch all the way around i know we have nowadays. nothing used yeah. anymore <laughs> gosh so these are really cool and actually i have a video where i'm talking about the 144 yeah the short or 19 foot yeah. uh, sprint event. It's funny, you know, the 144, some people just absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And some people walk in, they're like, how the heck do you do anything in this little RV? Mm -hmm. But other people are like, I have to have the 144. So it's mm -hmm. like, people have like a love hate relationship with it because it's so small that, I mean, my wife's Escalade, her, her SUV the is the same size as this RV. So yeah. you, can, you can park this thing anywhere. It's so small. And, and it's the smallest Class B Sprinter that is made. So some people love it for that reason. And that's why stuff like the Revel is on it, some of the small off-road overland ones, they, the uh, Storyteller overland, they, they build stuff on the 144. So right. it's a real popular chassis for that because it's so small. I mean, it's 19 feet long. You know, it's very small. So not all of them are four by fours, but I, I think they're very popular. Every once in a while, we get a four by four, okay. and we get real excited when we see the mm -hmm. four by four, mm -hmm. because because people really, really like having that extra, the extra ability to be able to go off road a little bit. Mm -hmm. They kind of go a little further than you would if you only had a two wheel drive to kind of take it. Not, I mean, you you don't want to go. So I was just in Utah, and I took one of those uh, side by sides, yeah. like <laughs> rock crawling and all that. You don't want to take these doing that. No. But if like a two-wheel drive one has to stop here, the four-wheel drive one can go a few extra miles off-road yeah, a little bit. So yeah. that's pretty cool, you if know? If you compare it to a, to a Jeep, let's say, a Jeep yeah. is obviously more capable, but because the 19-foot uh, or 144s are shorter, they have capability, but you get to get all the creature comforts you wouldn't yes. get with a Jeep, yes. you know? Especially and, in a road track or like the American Coach or yeah. like these nice, luxurious short ones, yeah. Yeah. So let's. So this one right in front of you. This is a. This is a two-wheel drive. So, two -wheel so this drive. is a 2022 Road Trek Agile. Okay. They call it the SS Agile. The SS stands for Short Sprinter. Short Sprinter Agile. Short Sprinter okay. Agile. Hank calls it the Agile. Agile. You know, like Fragile. You ever saw? You ever no, saw a Christmas Story? Ah, Fragile. It must be Italian. Well, I think that says fragile, honey. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, Fujile, they got the, the lamp. You know about the lamp. I, I sent Hang the link to this. He said, oh, good, we're going to do a video on the Ajile. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yes. So What do you think I'm going to call it? Nick? An Ajile. Yes. Yeah. So this this is the uh, 2022 Road Trek Ajile. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It is on the 144 chassis. It's 19 foot long. And this, and both of these actually pretty cool, have all the Mercedes upgrades, all the options that Mercedes does mm -hmm. on them. And people ask all the time, what's the biggest difference between the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive? Right. I'll show you the one difference. Are you ready for this? Okay. It's right here. You have, size-wise, you have about that much room, that much clearance. When you come over to the uh, four-wheel drive, okay. you have more. So you, you can see it sitting lower. If you I go from here. see it sitting lower. You can see the... the and lucky enough... You could put a whole foot up in there. <laughs> we have... A big foot. We right have now. one of each. Yeah. You know, I don't know when the I don't know if we've ever had a two wheel drive and a four wheel drive agile at the same time. I mean, I've never seen agile on the lot. I yeah, know we you had it at the show. You had we I did. Think we had we had one of these at the show. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. I mean like it's a showstopper. I mean people just absolutely love them. Mm -hmm. um, so so we 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 ordered these over a year ago, and they just now came in. You know we had some some sold ones that are coming in as well. Mm -hmm. But there's just there's just a chassis issue still, Hank. I mean, we're just still running into this issue of not being able to get the the stuff we've ordered because yeah. the factories can't get the stuff they ordered. I will back up a little bit. You know, Road Trek started doing Class B RVs back in the late '70s, early '80s. Mm -hmm. They were like the pioneer, one of the first ones to do it. Um, Hannemeyer was the guy's name up in Canada. They started with like conversion vans and then really quickly went into Class B RVs. Then back in like uh 20 i think they went bankrupt they mm -hmm. were they were ran um you know they were just expanding too fast too soon mm -hmm. and and some who knows there's a lot of different speculations they did go bankrupt it was mm -hmm. not because their name wasn't because their quality it was just because of spending, spending and all that too stuff much that, money spending too much money yeah. at the top so then then they they were bought out by rapido which is a french company a phenomenal company um we were one of their top five dealers when they went bankrupt we had 26 road trucks here on our lot the day oh, they that said, must have been a nice exciting those warranties day. are now expired <laughs> you have no help from the factory all 26 wow. of those are yours and we're like holy crap <laughs> but then we we then so about a year or so they were kind of in limbo they got bought out by rapido in mm. their in their um uh, bankruptcy hearings, whatever that's it was. A big company now. Big right? company. They do big the Westphalia yep. in, in Europe. They do a lot of Class Bs in Europe. Big Class B company in Europe. So they're going to be bringing some of that stuff over here within this year, I've heard. Within this year, they're going to be bringing some of that stuff over here. Very the, the, exciting stuff. It'll be cool to see the European things get here. I know I have a yeah. video of a, of a, of a smaller like European style yeah. van that we saw at They're pretty neat, yeah. yeah. So then, So then from there, once they once rapido kind of opened their doors we were their first phone call they called us we were there we had a big sign and we were their first north american dealer to sign back up with them and right now we're their number one rv dealer in the country so we sell more road treks than anybody else mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool to kind of see where they were and they kind of crashed and now they made they you know because their name the reputation they've they made a quick climb back to glory so i think road trek is kind of iconic the reason it why is. i'm going to say that is if you think about it in your brain you think about the class b vans yeah. that's kind of what pops into your it head is. It is. and the, and you know they've been out for a while they've been doing mercedes for a while and also like i just noticed we're going to talk we're going to start with the outside that's what we do yeah and you guys if you want to skip forward i'll get lola to do a whole list of so you so you can skip forward but you notice up top there, those window looking like things? Isn't yeah. that like... That's like their trademarks. So yeah, they're fake. I mean, they're just yeah. stickers. But th those aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody knows. I mean, look at the one behind you. Yeah. So there's one back there yeah. that also has it. That's fake as well. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is like, everyone knows Road Trek is coming down the road because right. of those windows. That. Well, they used to be real funny, in the past, right? When they, enough, when they did fiberglass. Oh, right? it left. Yeah. So yeah. there was, so we have an old one over there, yeah. but it has the fiberglass, you know, the Chevy chassis with yeah. the fiberglass windows. They don't build on Chevys anymore, yeah. only the Dodges and the Mercedes now. Yeah. But yeah, no, pretty neat. So, you know, you go I'll to a Mercedes. I'll when I get a chance, I'll go back there and show that. Cause that is cool. A lot of people out there will recognize that if they've been into vans for Oh, here, come here, I got one oh. right here. Okay, let's do that. There it is. 
Oh Those yeah, real there you windows. go. Yep. Oh, and there's another one. Look at that. That's a 210. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. So that's a 210. So that's windows. a real. So those are real windows real up there windows. that you can see. You go in. You know, you can let light in, and that's where that came from. That is where it came from. And that they became known over. for that on the 170, yeah. the 190, and the 210. <laughs> they became known for that, and then now they just put little stickers yeah. on the <laughs> top. Of it. It's kind of funny. Man, I don't. That's either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. But I think it's cute because it immediately says to me in my brain, road trek. And yeah. I'm not even like, I've only been doing this for a year, but even people who aren't into this recognize that. I feel like I've known you my whole life, Hank. Really? Okay. You know, I think I should be in the will. <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I, I'm gonna get a will. I got four kids. Right now. <laughs> it's not gonna be much. Um, and I was young when I had them, so you know, they're all gonna be Yeah, right, up. okay, <laughs> yeah. My daughter finds out Thursday if she gets into the college that she wants to get oh, into. Sweet. Oh, sweet, I hope she does. I made reservations at her favorite restaurant for that night. So it's going to be a big celebration. Hopefully a celebration. Yes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. So, so, so let's start from the outside. Outside. What, what's, what's, does Road Track do anything different from other folks other than that, than the real cool So So what's cool, the, so they definitely, you know, they paint all the stuff. They're not just, okay. you know, leaving it cladded. This one has the parking sensor, so as you get close to something, it beeps. Mm -hmm. It does have the, high, the active, the high-performance headlights we yeah. always talk about. Right. Um, you know, something pretty cool, and I just pointed this out to you, Hank, before we started the video. This is your quality approved sticker, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, I can make a Sunshine CRV sticker and stick it on there. Oh, Sunshine State approved, certified, this, that. <laughs> what I noticed is there's there's a somebody initialed it. Mm -hmm. So so I looked at the other ones, and there's different initials on all of them. So yeah. somebody is at the very end of this whole process checking out the whole coach. They're saying, I put my name on that RV. Yeah. They initial the sticker, they stick it in the window, if and they sell wrong, it. If something's wrong, we're looking if for JJ. If something's wrong, we are looking for JJ. I don't know who JJ is. <laughs> this RV better be right. But really though, one of the biggest things I've seen about Road Trek since their kind of resurgence was their quality is absolute top notch. I mean, mm -hmm. we used to have so many warranty claims when a new Road Trek would come in. Now. There's nothing. I mean, they do such a good job checking through everything, making sure with all their lithium systems, they've upgraded all that, all their systems. They've done such a great job making sure everything's great. So I will say hats off to Road Trek for that. Hats off to JJ on this one Absolutely. because he initialed quality approved. And they backed it up with a two year unlimited mileage warranty. So nobody else gives that type of warranty. Mm -hmm. Everyone else has some mileage restriction or a one year warranty. Road Trek gives you a two year unlimited mileage warranty. So. Pretty cool that they back up cool. their quality with yeah. it. So this one that we're going to look at is the 4x4. We're not going to look is. at the, the silver um, two-wheel drive. We'll right. look on the outside. I notice they've got lights. Not everyone does the lights. There's a light there, and if the door closes, I think there's another there light on this side. There right? is. There is. And this one has does have the power door, which is pretty yeah. neat. Oh, so yeah, there's two of these lights right there. So two lights. You that's do have cool. a power awning, power step that kind of goes in and step. out. Yeah, that's cool. In and out with I the didn't notice thing. that before either until it just made that noise. I like the Mercedes wheels. Those are the the uh, factory wheels. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people do request us to upgrade the wheels to some like black aftermarket. Some rims. Um, rims, kind of like yours. Oh, mm -hmm. well, you can't see yours. Yeah. Like this American coach right here has the nice black wheels on yeah. it. People ask That's us. That's a beast. That, oh, that is a beast. Uh, yeah, I just met the person who owns that beast. I know. I'm, he, I'm very jealous. He drove in from Jacksonville <laughs> because he watched our videos on it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So here we go. We got the four x four badge, which mm -hmm. is the distinction that this is a four by four. These are twenty five hundred. Hey, you should put your phone number in your RV so people can call you when they have when they have questions for you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put your number. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? My number is plastered all over the internet. <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, just uh, nice big uh, tow hitch. Yeah. Rear parking sensors as well, which is really nice when you're backing up. Yeah. You do have the camera that's up top. Right. And then you have the sensors, and Mercedes kind of does that bird's eye view as well. Mm -hmm. So that way you can kind of see where you're at in a parking space. You know, I'm teaching my 15 year old how to drive, mm -hmm. and he trusts those cameras way too much. He yeah. never looks over his shoulder. No. And I, I, I block the camera. Oh. <laughs> and I say, no, you are parking this thing without Look. looking at the camera. Look yeah. over your shoulders, look, look in the mirrors. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. As we're going through, you have your hot water heater, furnace this, and these, is, a this is a diesel nope this is a tankless hot water heater oh, this tankless hot yep. water but yep. the van this van is a diesel this van is a mercedes diesel yeah. Yeah. okay so back here this has a tankless tankless hot water okay. heater That's you got cool. a little outside shower i don't have the key to it I don't know right it is. uh i think it's on the inside and then here this looks like that for the heat 
That is of the, the suburban van. heater. Yep, That's it. where it exhausts. So, I mean, if you've got this 4x4, four four, you're going to have some showers looking at the mountainside. While hot and there. cold. Yeah. You so. pull this out, you got hot water. Yeah. So That's you can nice. wash your feet. You can wash your look, dog's crystal feet. Crystal knobs. <laughs> You can shower out here. Look at you wearing pants. I know. By the way, I'm Dude, it's frigid out Nick here. It's cold. Frigid. Because he actually has pants. Well, I almost wore shorts today. But I, <laughs> but I look at the weather. It was going to be 40 degrees. I didn't know you owned a pair of pants. One or two. <laughs> Someone asked me today, do you have an important meeting today? I'm like, no, it's just cold. I'm like, I don't think you got cold. Yeah, you're, you are a for real Floridian. I can tell. So here, uh -huh. this is where you plug in your 30 amp service. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Look how that's hidden under there. Nice. God, there's like winter. My hands are sticky. Yeah. So everything here is covered, which is cool. Yes, yeah, I really I like, like how it's yeah. totally covered. So here's we have propane. Here. We have our fresh water hookup. We got our macerator right there. So you pull that out, and and it's a macerator hose. So this is kind of fully loaded. Typically, all that stuff is more. That's all like extras. Not everyone gives you the macerator. Yeah, right? no, okay. I, the macerator is great because. Because it, it grinds it and you stick it in there, you're not having to mess with anything. You just press a button yeah. and it's just. And then it, so it retracts itself in and all that, right? Uh, no. Maybe not this one. No, this one does not retract okay. itself. Okay. What it does is it grinds the waste mm -hmm. and then it pumps it out. Yeah. Which okay. is nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. So as, as we keep going, so we go. it's that little red button. Mm -hmm. That's that's the macerator button. Oh, so, I see. So you pull the macerator hose out. You, you put it in the ground and you just stand right here and hold the button and it just pumps the waste. Oh, okay. So that way you're like 10 you're feet away. On. You're socially distanced from the waste. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> you stick in the ground, you back up, you go like this, and you hold the you, button down. You avoid it. <laughs> so that way you don't have the situation like yours. Yeah, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Can we watch that video together? No. I'm going to watch it when I get home. No one will ever kids. see that. <laughs> that will never be in the world. No, maybe one of these days. So pretty cool heated, uh, heated seats, a little heater right there. Power seats as well. Both seats are power, so very All nice. The Mercedes awesomeness. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go. We'll show the inside when I go in there. But yeah, nice. Um, this is leather, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice seats and everything. You are getting the Mercedes. Yeah. No. Definitely. Definitely top of line. Yeah. And as as we've talked about in the past, even if you never used a four wheel drive you still have that extra clearance. Yeah. Something Roadtrek does as well is they give you a sumo spring uh, upgrade. Mm -hmm. So so there's sumo springs on the front and the back, which, which really helps with your ride. I had a friend of mine buy, buy a Sprinter a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. and he said, Nick, whenever my friends are in the back, it's real bumpy and all mm -hmm. that. So I recommended sumo springs. So he brought it in, we did it. And then he's like, man, what a difference it has made for the people sitting in the back. It's, and it was a short Sprinter, just like this. It wasn't even a long one. Oh, wow. Like okay. he, he put those those uh, sumo springs on it and it made a world of a difference. So I, okay. I would definitely recommend those yeah. to help with the ride. And I'm sure this handles pretty well. It does, being oh yeah. Especially being the shorter one. We should go take it through yeah. the Moab. Uh, hey, if you want to go for a ride, we can absolutely do it. Power door. Right. There it is. Yeah, yeah, don't mess with it. Then have, out comes the step. Power step. Pretty cool nice. actually here. I know I always talk about, so Road Trek kind of has their own screen package that they do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like this too. I like how the treatment here on this wall. So this is their ebony guys. cabinets. Yeah. So two different ways this screen works, which I like this. Nobody else really does something like this. Um, so here you have a screen, right? Mm -hmm. You can open it. Push through it, here's Velcro. Vel there it is, Velcro, you can mm -hmm. go in and out. But if you have a cat or a dog that you want to keep them in, the Velcro makes it to where it's not easily, easily penetrated. It's where they can't yeah. do it. But if you walk, you could just walk right through oh, it yeah. with enough force. Yeah. Awesome. Not enough force. I mean, just, you know, kind of. Yeah. But you see, you know, it's a road trek thing. Yeah. So it, it keeps the bugs out. So you walk up to it, you just grab it right here and just walk right through. Very cool. Something else pretty cool, hey? Like that. While you're hanging up, stay right there. Uh-oh. If you want some privacy, Oh, that was completely. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, so that goes halfway down. If you're inside, you've got... I like when uh, the blackout stuff comes built in. I don't know if there's any more of that in the van, but... There is. So in the back... Just having it at the door is cool. In the back, we'll go through it, Hank. They they also have the ba the blackout for the back is also built in. Mm -hmm. It's just one less thing you have to store, you know? Yeah. I don't like storing things. 
Uh, it's, it's one less thing you even have to like go buy and figure that out on your own. Oh yeah. You know, like I know I had to do that. Okay, can I, can I come in here? Yes. Yeah, All right, let's do this. There you go, you've got road track in the headrests on the seats and um, here's what it looks like inside. A very nice Mercedes Sprinter Fair, you know. Lots of tech, I've talked about that. That's one of the really cool things with the Sprinter vans, man. You get all the Mercedes tech that comes along with it. As uh, Nick now has shown we're before. The coach, I'm gonna start taking some, some oh. clothes off. Hey. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Don't Woo. get frisky, Woo. don't get frisky. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> now that we're in here, mm -hmm. you can see it is a little, it's smaller than most of the other ones, right. but there's still room to, to do something's beeping. Yeah. Something is on. Oh, there you go. So there's room to do this things. Room. You know what's cool, and Road Truck has always done this, they give you a free um, kind of whole side that's just free of nothing. So that way you don't have like a big cabinet here and a cabinet here. Yeah. Then you feel like you're in a cave. Like I don't feel like I'm in a cave right now. The floor now. plan is open and I noticed they put the bathroom open. on the other side because typically in vans I see the bathroom on this side. Yeah. So they put everything on that side and it does create that uh, feeling of openness like you're it saying. It does. Um, and I like and how I, big I like even... this road track on everything. Even in a small people. coach... Let me put this up there. Mm -hmm. Even in a small coach you have a lot of, of counter space, you know? Mm -hmm. They, they give you the induction stove, they cover the sink for you, so they kind of give you everything everything that you need right here. This is a lot of space in a yeah. 19-foot RV. I mean, so your galley I'd is even say, hey, here. I mean, your kitchen, oh, your RV's 22 foot. Is your kitchen counter this big? No. Also, I don't have a, um, I don't have a convection microwave either. <laughs> I mean, so, you, so there's a convection microwave here. There's a convection here. microwave. Check this out. This is pretty sweet. So this oh. goes like this oh, nice. for that guy. And then when that one swivels, oh, they so both, you can both share this. Yeah, there's no table leg that you yeah. need to mess with. That's everything's cool. right there. I like the finish on this, and then, that then this is also a drawer here. You've got a sink. I think we've got that's some of the um, insulate. What is it called again? The winterizing stuff. It's that sticky stuff that's yeah. still on my hand. You see that? Yeah, that I don't want to get on my hands. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, don't do it, cooties. Okay. Um. So we close <laughs> this. I mean, look yeah. at that. That's cool. And a lot of the other ones, there's a stand on the floor that yeah. you need to put the thing on. Can I wipe this off on your jacket? No, man. Come on. We're buddies. <laughs> wipe it on your pants. You said we know each other. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. I see how you want to be. <laughs> um, yeah, so check it out. So nice, nice big convection microwave. Some cabinets down here, too. This thing. Yeah. Storage down there. I kind of like how this is set up. This is uh, this is pretty cool here. Yeah. You got yeah. a spice rack. Spice rack. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing, you know, that, that I'm not always a fan of, but every little RV has it, is a little fridge. Yeah. Um, you can fit some Ben and Jerry's in there, but not a ton. Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of, like, the size of the fridge that I have. Have you seen the 144s with, a like, a full fridge before? Or, I, I doubt it, right? I have not, not seen in that. these. No. Yeah. Because you know, the American Coach, this, mm -hmm. and, the, and the Winnebago Red Bull all have mm -hmm. a small fridge. Yeah. But listen. You know, you can you can get enough stuff in there. You just might have to, every couple of days, restock if you're... You know, people ask me about the Ben & Jerry's all the time, so my wife bought me an ice cream maker for Christmas. Oh, really? A ninja ice cream maker. Oh, I didn't, I've never even seen those. It's, 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 it's a healthy alternative. Oh, uh, she's giving... That's a hint. It's not a hint. Hint, hint. It's a healthy Show alternative. Me. This, what was under here? I saw you open this. A healthy alternative. Oh, okay. That's cool. So I guess yeah. you can keep your your cords and stuff like that in here, no, I mean, or whatever you want, really. Probably. Oh, you want to keep your cords? This is I don't even know what this is to be honest. That might be. For, is that for the induction? No, induction. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, could be. Yes. For something. This is road truck. Two years unlimited roadside assistance. Pretty neat. Very nice. Towing, jump starts, Comes fuel, tire, mobile mechanic, winching, all kinds of cool stuff. That's always cool to have. So is that a little side drawer here too? It is. Isn't that oh, neat? Wow. Okay. Yeah, they use they really use all of this. Oh, That's cool. So that is one thing that Road Trek really has impressed me for the last mm -hmm. 30 years. I've been playing with you know 20 I'm playing with these things, is the use of the space. Mm -hmm. I mean just every single Yeah. There's cabinets. This I think I'm not sure what this is for at all, but what's that? Oh power control center. Yeah, there's yep, yep, fuse. Oh, so this is you. I mean oh, you can I break broke it. it. I mean <laughs> JJ signed off on it. I mean, I'm gonna call JJ and tell him yeah, uh, that you broke his RV. 
<laughs> right. There, how's that? There you go. So, yeah, they have cabinets everywhere. I'm just opening up the cabinets because people like to see the cabinets open. You know what's cool, and I always say this on these road trucks, mm -hmm. lights are in individual. Yeah, that's cool. So, so if you want, you know, one on, two mm -hmm. on, depends on what you're doing. If, if you're cooking, you just want, if you just want these on, they have mm -hmm. individual ones under here as oh, well. Sweet. So you have just the kitchen lights on, and you have all the ceiling lights off. Yeah. You, can, you know, there's a lot of different options you can do with that. I like how they put aluminum under here, too. That's cool. Check this out, by the way. Oh. There's a screen there, oh. and then shades here. What? Well, this is nice, actually. Yeah. Oh, this is one of the nicer 144s I've seen, actually. I'm impressed. Okay, so we're going to the back. Glad to hear that, Hank. Um, and so these, I'm assuming, you can't seatbelt, right? You can cannot seatbelt seat those, no. This but has that. the seatbelt. And this has something that, that none of the other coaches that we carry have, which Shoulder. is a three-point harness. Yeah. So you can sit here like this. You can put kids in here. You can put car seats. Oh, that's this is cool. Yeah. It, it, there it is. It doesn't this have... Be your every, this will be an easy everyday driver. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I have four kids, Hank, and if I put my kids this close to each other, they'd be fighting the whole time. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I need to have some space between them. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I know the feeling. I don't have four, but two is enough for me. Yeah, so four is just probably twice that. It's three times as hard, actually. Yeah, right. Sorry to say, it's three okay. times as hard. <laughs> so let's, let's see here. More cabinets back here. We got another big one here. To show you guys. So even though this is small, there's a lot of storage. And I do like this. I do like this wood. I'm, I'm, Nick said what what kind of wood it was, Ebony. but I forgot. Ebony. Okay. Ebony. And Ari. Okay, there you go. We can't sing too much, we'll get in trouble. TV here, and it's covered up. I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get in trouble because nobody will watch the video if yeah, we sing, that's why. Yeah, people complain about everything they want to complain. So You're interrupting, Nick. These are I won't on, interrupt. Uh, uh, I won't ever, awning. I'll just wait until he starts. No. <laughs> awning style windows. It's pretty neat, actually. They like have the, no, the little cool. things right here. <laughs> awning style windows here. You know, yeah, that is cool. There's fresh air. They don't open yeah. a ton, but they open enough. So, and then this has that same. Oh, I like the side. I like the stuff same, on the side. Yeah. Same technology. How do you I, know, uh, this also acts as like a. It kind of makes you feel homey a little oh, bit. So they call this a like, like a valance or something. They call that a valance. I don't know. Are you asking me? <laughs> I should ask my wife. She knows. It's nice. Else. Yes. It's it's like a valance, right? Yeah. It's kind of like an upholstery thing. Typically see that on a bed headrest yes. and stuff, but this is a nice pattern here. This is the hotter, the water heater and furnace controls here, mm -hmm. um, and then you have a, a 110 plug with with a USB right here. And then for for those of us that need that uh, Darth Vader mask at night, yeah, I won't mention me. any names. Me. <laughs> there's a plug right here for it. Uh huh. Oh, I yeah. know a lot. And then there's the other one, the other built-in that you were talking yeah. about. When we walk outside, we'll open the doors yeah. there. We'll see that. That's pretty cool. Place to hang. Wait, things. you get cushions? You do. This is actually pretty cool. So check they this match out. that pattern that's on they the do. Oh, nice. So this goes right here, like an armrest. Oh. Okay. Isn't that cool? Sweet. Yeah, that's all I was neat. Yeah. So that, and then they give you fancy pillows. Yeah, this is cool. This is actually one of the nicer 144s I've seen. And then, some and then, oh, here we go. Let's explore some things Nick together, Hank. Let's out of here through the power. Voila! The magic. <laughs> Remember that video where our wife showed up on the couch? Yeah, I wish I could do that right now <laughs> so they could see. <laughs> No, my wife knows I'm not handy your, at your all. Your wife is going to be cracking up at that. She knows I'm yeah. not handy You guys at all. are so lucky that the camera stopped recording just now. Or maybe not. And maybe you would have enjoyed seeing Nick so, messing around with this table. Now there's a table back here that right. can be like this. It can be like yeah. this. There's also a lagoon table option as well. Yeah. So we'll do a little lagoon commercial. How's that? Yeah, there you go. So okay, a lagoon right table now. option and a regular yeah, table option. That's probably option. in here. I don't know where it is. Let's see. Um, this there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Whole okay, bunch of stuff. Yeah, this closet looks like it has multi purposes. So you know what's we, sweet? When we go, you know what, what? The one you're looking for is probably under that this bench. I bet you're right. There's a lagoon yeah. option. I do want to yeah. do a little commercial for lagoon here. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a pretty cool. These road tracks have a great lithium system. So they were actually back in 2014 ish. Mm -hmm. They started experimenting with, with eight AGM batteries, a big inverter, the underhood generator, and solar. So they were trying to find ways to get rid of the dependence of energy to where you can go boondock anywhere you want it. Mm -hmm. And so they called it the green machine 
and, and they put it on something called an e track so it was like a like an eco track e track mm -hmm. machine so then the next year 2015 they came out with the lithium batteries they were the only van that did it from 2015 to about 2019 oh so that's really new oh like four lithium. or five years they were the only ones that did lithium then 2019 ish winnebago started coachman started and then everyone kind of followed suit now everybody has a lithium package yeah. but for about three or four years nobody except road trek did lithium batteries see i don't believe in royalty personally but you know you don't how do you not believe in royalty no i don't royalty is not tell me megan markle is the not only, royal, the only person not royal that's a queen is lola <laughs> you're telling me megan <laughs> markle is not royal not in my mind <laughs> not, not mine either no. No one. Mary Schmidt is no the only royal in my mind. Yeah, mom. only Lola and Mary, yeah. Okay. For sure. <laughs> yeah. They All can right, be princesses, just... queens, whatever they want. It doesn't phase me. There we go. Uh -huh. So, you see, oh, we didn't show them the bathroom. No, we didn't. <laughs> Check that bad boy out. Um, I could. All right, so we wound up losing the audio here, and uh, I don't know what happened to it. Something's up with my camera. Definitely time to get a new camera. However,. Believe that I'm saying something really brilliant here and Nick is totally agreeing with me as we're looking at this very nice bathroom inside of the Agile. So, you know, and then I'm probably saying something real funny here in this part and then Nick is laughing. Let's see, check out the, the Mohawk, it's oh, nice, and, nice and frizzy. Yeah. Just wait till my Mohawk goes all white. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look like one of those gremlins. <laughs> Wait till I go all bald. I might go all bald before you go all white. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I think we'll so. We'll see what happens. <laughs> That'll be interesting. I, 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 be some old dudes I'm doing this. I'm on my way there. Yeah. On my way. Hey, let's, let's show them yeah, the back. Yeah, let's go outside. Come on. I'm going to walk right through. I used to be so young. There's a lot of room in there. It, it's, I know it's uh, small, but there's a lot of room. What are you saying yeah. about being young? Well, I just used to feel so I I still feel young, but every time, you know, my... Come my, on, you just hit 40. I did, did you even hit 40 yet? Yeah, I you're did. 40. Back in June. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm about to hit 50. Oh, man. lagoon table. Oh, see? You know, I wonder who knew about that. Ben, be the expert. There goes the... And this matches that um yeah the countertop, the countertop you yeah, like it's nice cool right and there's a bunch of mats and stuff like there's, that there's there. extra mats also, the there's... power cable yep and then you have your and old then, these are shades the... oh we didn't show the bed no hang out there I'll okay go. yeah let's see it does this is actually roomier than it looks from the outside when we were in there just now it felt really room roomy i should say so so you press the button you know, one thing I like, I love the Firefly, but I really like having a button control mm -hmm. right here next to the bed. Because mm -hmm. it's some of the ones where you have to control the couch on the Firefly. You have to walk all the way up here to okay. do it. Mm -hmm. I like to be able to do it right here and control it, which is nice. Yeah. So you so, put the whole bed down? Are you going to do, you should do that thing that everyone does in the video, like, you know, the, 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 the chicks. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. Let's see. You gotta put. You gotta kick your feet up in the. Back. Oh, I don't know how to do that. I'm not that flexible, you, Hank. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm, not I'm not that flexible. Here. Come on, you gotta do it right. I got tight hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. We should have not tried that. We should not have tried that. <laughs> when you. So, what if your wife is gonna see this? <laughs> nice big twin side. Be amused. That's so, not me. That's so, him, Nick. Nick so, did it. <laughs> so what people like about this couch? Uh huh. Function. Let me put all. The, let me clean this mess up a little bit here, Hank. So what's nice is you can sleep here, mm -hmm. you can sleep here, yep. but when you're sleeping here, you just lay down, yep. and then when you're done, you just jump out and you just get right you out of bed. You have that leg room to you get do. up, yeah. If you want one big bed, it comes with the cushions to make it. Yeah. So you can make so it. you can't have that. You can have yeah. the big bed if you want. Typically, people sleep the way that I just showed you. Mm -hmm. That's one way. The other cool thing about having this right here is when you're sitting on it, like this, and then, you, you just kind of lean back. Oh, you could do. Oh, you don't have to put it up all. The no, way. no, you just watch yeah. TV, hang out. See, this is what you were made to do. You were meant to this do is this what I was seat. Made to do. Yeah, not the. You can't do the model chick thing at all. You cannot be an Instagram. It's a good thing you decided to sell vans. <laughs> I can do. Who's the guy from Married with Children? The Al Bundy, sit back and watch TV thing. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so good. Let me right. walk back out. Yeah. Oh, well, no, this is. I want to show you this. Uh, I'll show you from outside. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna show we're gonna show folks this um, 
this blackout curtain that's really, back here. This really is pretty cool. serious too. Yeah, no, I like yeah. this a lot. So let's see if we can actually get it to focus on it. Okay. So Road Trek mm -hmm. is the company that came up with this. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I think it's great. So you have a couple different things. So right now, mm -hmm. what you're looking at is the screen. So you do it there and do it here. Mm -hmm. And you can even button it. Yeah, so and you get a nice breeze. Like days like today. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. You so know, you have the screen here. This is also pretty cool, Hank. I know we talk about storage. So mm -hmm. you have storage in all of these here. So these oh, are that, all that full is storage. Cool. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. So full storage there. And um, this is kind of soft. And, yeah, this feels nice. Yeah, too. it's nice, right? It's like a neoprene kind of thing. Oh, cool. And let me go in and I'll show you how to do the blackout. All right, let's see that. So hopefully you guys are getting to see this. I know there's like, it's kind of weird. It's cool out here, but sunny at the same time, which is messing everything up camera wise for the focus. Oh, is it oh, really? Yeah, it's good. You're good. I can see you in there. So what's nice is this is the blackout. Yep. So grab the zipper. Oh, now you look marvelous. This is my best life. You have a face for radio. <laughs> What did you say? You're living your best life? Where is he? No, I said, I oh, here he goes. See, you got me exercising today. So did now... you say you're living your best life? No, I said this is you're seeing me in my best light. Oh. <laughs> so uh -huh. now you have your blackout. So right. there again, it's all stored right here. Yeah. You're not having to go find some shades yep. and cover a window. That or is do, a big deal. Or do anything different. You know what else? You know I always like it when people frame out this window. People can, so There are people who ask me why and they think that's not a good thing like there was a guy that i met i think at the tampa rv show that said he he doesn't like it when the windows are blocked because he wants to see out yeah. but this is really cool because this helps like insulate these doors and, and keep the van cooler the or, that breeze. yeah so I, I really do like this is there some kind of shade in here well, there's not because there's oh. this oh because so you this have is that. your blackout oh, yeah. yeah okay no this is cool yeah i, I like this so i'm gonna back up here so everyone can get a better look a kind of what's going on yeah yeah so, that's totally blacked out now so pair i mean and it's just the the few small things that really make a big difference you mm -hmm. know road road check really does a good job with these shades they do a good mm -hmm. job with their lithium great mm -hmm. cabinetry they do some uh, really nice insulation you know being made up in canada mm -hmm. which is where they're all made they they really emphasize their their insulation they do mm -hmm. a good job I mean, there's there's a lot of the quality, the warranty. Road Trek has done a great job with with their comeback, with going through everything and making sure. Because when you start over, you can drop some things, you can add on new things, yeah. you can really say, okay, this is what worked and this is what didn't. So some of the stuff that didn't work, they stopped doing. Mm -hmm. Some of the options that didn't work, they stopped doing. Some of the the, the body styles and the vans, they just stopped and they said, let's let's get back to our basics and let's find what really works and what and what's gonna work going forward. Yeah. And that's kind of what Road Trek did. And the guys there, Canada Mike is is one of the guys who's been with them forever. Len is their head guy there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just great guys. And then they really are making a good product. Yeah, yeah. Canada Mike, we saw yeah, yeah. at the show with you. It's cool dude. Let's go up front and wrap this up. Yeah, man. So we can get different lighting. <laughs> oh, you don't like the light? <laughs> yeah, the lighting, the sun is coming right down. So here, I'll let everyone get a look at uh, this. You want to go in oh, front of this silver one? one yeah, white here's one. here's the silver one. Same kind of thing, right? Is it our, Even though this is a... Oh, it's still powered, even though this, door. this is a cherry oh. cabinet. Cherry cabinet. Oh, nice. Sterling pearl, same yeah. floor plan. Yeah. So you can see here. Yeah, it goes with the wood. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So if anyone... I'll just give folks a little quick look at this. If you guys want to see, I don't know how we get the lights on. We probably won't get the lights on in here, but you can get a look and and uh, at the basic layout of this, which is pretty much the same, yeah, just in a different uh, color. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> you know what? I really did think that was cool. Um, I've that's at, your first time in one, isn't it? Yeah. I, well, I looked at that one at the uh, at the show, but you that's were right. so busy, man. Yeah. Did you, we how much weight did you lose at this show? Because all you did was just run up went, and down. From a coachman boot to a road truck, but it went back and forth, yeah. back and forth, back. Yeah. I met some of the coolest people at that show, though. I got to yeah. tell you, I, I am I am just so impressed with mm -hmm. with the people that watch these videos, that yeah, know me too. who we are, yeah. that come to the shows. And they just, and they're just great. I mean, Everyone's cool. I got there was caught a, up. There was a guy who said that he came looking for me. He kept, because you know, I was like running around yeah. too and hanging out with you guys. And you had two spots. 
He said, man, I came and looked for you. You weren't there, but Nick gave me a chicken sandwich. <laughs> so, yeah, there were, there were a lot Any of really nice of people. Hank I didn't get to actually meet him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll probably meet him in Ocala. Yeah, dude, we're yeah. having a big thing in Ocala. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so just, you know, it's it's been fun. Mm -hmm. You know, going to the Ocala show, doing mm -hmm. all this stuff, and mm -hmm. just seeing the growth of the Class B community. Yeah. And the growth of your channel and your people and yeah. our stuff, and just kind of, yeah. yeah. It's, it's been, been a lot fun. Of fun. It's been fun doing stuff with you and working with you and all that yeah. kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, we make fun of each other, <laughs> argue about things. Nick tells me stuff I don't believe him. <laughs> he does not believe me. So yeah, it's not. been it's been a lot of fun doing it. This one is really cool. Yeah. If I was looking at these, and I think if I bought, I wouldn't get rid of my van, but if I bought a second one, mm -hmm. I would like to have a short sprinter that's yeah. four by four, oh. and I like the layout of this. And there's some other ones too. If you you know. You, I've noticed that there's actually a bunch of options sure. if you options. if you want it. Okay. Yeah. So, but on the on the road track, is it, do you just get one f uh, floor plan? So on the course? agile, yeah, there is just one floor plan. They do make a Zion, which is the pro. They make a whole line on Promaster. Mm -hmm. This is their only Mercedes Sprinter one that they're making. Okay. Um, and it is, you know, they just don't have a lot of them. You yeah. know, Mercedes is is. is uh, they're really struggling giving chassis out to the manufacturers. Okay. So, so they're they're making probably ninety five percent Promasters, five percent Sprinters right now. Okay. But this is such a cool RV, and we happen to have two of them, which is insane. Yeah. But what's the rough it, price? I know we can't really. It's tough to give people to pin man, down prices. Prices are going up so much mm -hmm. right now, Hank. I mean, we got increased by Road Trek two weeks ago. We got increased by Winnebago two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Coachman increased the end of December. So it, oh, it's wow. just so. I mean. So you know, people need to call you guys, or how, yeah, like, let's say someone's interested. In yeah, just I mean, whenever you, I mean, people can watch this two years from now, and it could be fifty, hundred grand more. Wow. You know, there's no telling. Mm -hmm. I we quoted a price in a video six months ago, and someone called last week and said, <laughs> "You quoted this price in the video." I'm like, dude, I gas was also three dollars a gallon then; it's four dollars a gallon now. I mean, yeah, what do you want me to tell you? Five, you know, six. I, it, who knows? <laughs> who, knows yeah. who knows? But they're they're not the cheapest they're definitely not the cheapest but mm -hmm. i think quality wise they are some of the best mm -hmm. um i would definitely say that um that value wise there's a good value in road track good lithium system great warranty good good reputation resale values gonna be great mm -hmm. road tracks just i mean they hold their value they have such a great mm -hmm. resale value so yeah a okay. lot of cool stuff by the road track and then you know buying from us i mean we deliver for free anywhere in the country and mm -hmm. you know we're the number one class b dealer in the state of florida we're number three in the whole united states mm -hmm. so we sell more class b's than anybody else in the state of florida which is which is pretty cool some little old van dealership yeah. can Kick can butts. sell a lot of rvs yeah no, no so it's great if people want to add some stuff to these can you um oh, yeah. I we, don't know what can we do. Added, so, but. like the other day, we saw one of these mm -hmm. and someone. We added the wheels, added the okay. bike rack, okay. added you know different things. You know, everybody wants something different. So okay. yeah, we can get as creative as you want. Absolutely. All right. So listen, I'm sure we took a bunch of time here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes. I enjoyed hanging out with Nick as I always do. Make sure you check out Sunshine State RV, and then you guys have a YouTube channel as well. We do. You've got videos up we there. Do. And inventory is coming in, right? It is coming not. in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exciting. Real exciting. Absolutely. Thanks awesome. so much, my friend. Good seeing you. Yes, sir. We are out of here. We'll see you guys on the next one. And as I said, I am working on a video that I did at the Tampa Super RV show. Whatever that was. Super thing. duper. Yeah. At that show, every time I did the intro, I said the Tampa RV Super Show in Tampa. <laughs> And when I was editing, I was like, what, what, what I don't know what I'm doing. This? Yeah, but I did a video looking at a bunch of, um, of the 144s there. Nice. Yeah, so we're out of here. See you guys next time. Peace.